There are currently about 7,000 Nigerians residing in Qatar who are gainfully engaged in diverse areas of human endeavor. Acknowledging the roles that Nigerians in diaspora have been playing in the development of the country, President Buhari disclosed that his administration had approved a national diaspora policy. The policy would support the development of programs by Nigerians in diaspora commission to facilitate the contributions of such citizens towards the development of their fatherland. Nigerian ambassador to Qatar, Yakubo Ahmed, believes that the successful conduct of presidential and national assembly elections on the 25th of February is proof that Nigeria's democracy is indeed strong. I equally pray for another round of successful exercises during the governorship and state house of assembly election that will be held next Saturday. In a similar vein, the Nigerian community in Qatar is thanking the president for de-emphasizing vote buying during those elections. This is an election where money has taken backstage. We were very scared after the primaries, but we are so grateful to see what happened at this time of, uh, at, at this time of the president, presidential and national assembly election. I also want to really thank you for your, for your critique of, of, of African presidents that really want to stay in office forever. Beyond the euphoria of meeting with the president, the pertinent question to ask is how does this strategy to engage Nigerians in Qatar positively contribute to the development back home? Oh, definitely, you see that this hall was full of the most intelligent, the brightest people anywhere. Even Qatar is proud of what Nigerians here are doing. There's no feel we're not excelling. But here's the thing, how does it translate to your home country? The role of government is to provide an enabling environment, as we always say. And our role is to engage with them. Like already from here, we have some of them that want to build capacity particularly in the medical field, some of them in the food and beverage business, some of them in the oil and gas business, and some of them already see now they can invest in agriculture back home, bringing businesses back home. So that is the thing. Nobody will develop Nigeria but Nigerians. Nigeria and the state of Qatar established diplomatic ties in 2013 and have since then maintained very cordial relations. On the president's entourage to Qatar, Kainde Amodu, Trust TV News.